Hi guys, I'm Nate from Good Man Racing. I'd like to take a quick break from fabrication to talk about fit up. Fitting up is when you take one base metal and another base metal, or perhaps even three or more, and notch them, prep them, and prepare them for welding. So in roll cage fabrication, it's uh, a little more complicated than that because usually this is gonna turn into a node, as in multiple tubes are gonna go to a single point and grow from there. What does that look like? Another tube, right? So this is one, another tube that's prepped for welding. This is for the driver's side. This is the passenger and it fits like so. That is fit up, that is ready to go. It actually has flat surfaces or to make grooves out of it. So then you're not just getting a fillet weld on top, but a groove weld through the thickness of the tubing. The one thing you must be aware though, is that whenever you make one of these nodes, you must, you must, you must, you must weld underneath it. So whenever companies like Brenthal Racing or, um, other off-road shops that are premium trophy truck shops, whenever they talk about welding the tubes individually, it means that this tube has weld all around it in all directions before the next tube is fit up and welded to it. So what you're seeing here is the fast version where I have already done the welding in the section that I'm going to put the next tube so then I can do the welding of this tube in place and not worry about the weld that's underneath. It's already done. That way I can finish welding this thing out like this thing was never there at all. So I am Good May Nathan from Good Mayhem Racing. Um, oh, one more thing, holes. Drill a hole in your tubing. That way it doesn't build up air pressure while you're welding and cause the weld to rupture real time. It looks like it cratering inside as the air inside starts to breathe a bit. So drill a hole so you can't build up any pressure at all. There you go. That's how you get it fit up. I will see you out in the desert, not my garage. This isn't the roll cage. This is my crash bar. The whole goal of this thing is for someone else to hit, like one of those trophy trucks I mentioned earlier. However, even so, it still needs to maintain the same standard of weld quality as the roll cage inside. Laters.